Is it black love or is it light skin love? Because this trailer is giving me terms and conditions may apply. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. going on y'all I just got through watching this trailer for this documentary black love that comes on own and girl it was light skin love throughout the trailer I think the trailer is two minutes and within 30 seconds I started to notice a pattern that every one of the wives were light skin like every one of the wives were light skin and I was like okay is this some type of mistake are they trolling like what is going on what is the conversation because if we're talking about love and this is the only representation y'all are giving us, what are y'all telling people? So I want to talk about this. Y'all know colorism is one of those things that I enjoy having a conversation about because it's one of those things that gets folks all upset in their feelings and it's, it needs to be discussed. It needs to be discussed. And currently right now while I'm talking about this and recording this, there is a black woman who I follow named Money Maya on Twitter who has been receiving harassment um, from an artist, um, Talib, um, I can't pronounce his last name, who has been pressed at this black woman talking about all of the black male rappers being in relationships or marriages with light-skinned women. Uh, and she started to name names, and this person um, got upset about it and a lot of folks got upset with her and to the point that he started to harass her on social media um, and been, has been suspended from Twitter because of it and is now carrying it over to Instagram and harassing her. So this is this is why it's important for us to have a conversation because just the mention of colorism and as some form of you know men choosing light-skinned wives makes men so upset but we see it we've seen it in the videos we've seen it when you all choose your video vixens we see it even in when we're watching the news think about how many black female anchors are of lighter skin versus the darker skin male news anchors like there's so much research that has been done into colorism that they are now able to um, show us data that light-skinned women are more than likely to be married or get a partner compared to their dark skin, um, you know, counterparts. Like they're, they're like compared to dark-skinned women. Let I me mean, not use that term, but they're to dark-skinned women. Um, and it, it's it's really it's realistic. And I, I, I've been thinking to myself now that we have Moesha um, coming back on um, Netflix and stuff, and people watching it. And we're seeing that these other, like, so many dark-skinned women were in that show. And it's just like, what happened? Like, we seem to have, like, a mix of dark-skinned folks, light-skinned folks. Like, so many different variations of skin tones on shows and media. But now it just seems like this is what we see. This is why I can't get into shows like um, Grownish, who's been called out for colorism. This is why I can't get into, um, what's the other show in Kenya... Kenyon Barris's um, light skin cinematic universe. I just I can't get into it because y'all want to say that oh this is his family, this is what his family looks like. Yes, but these types of families are always the ones chosen to give us a black TV show, a black sit sitcom. It's always either a the black male is married to a white woman and they have biracial kids, or the the, the father is dark skin and the mother is light skin. We see that with so many shows. You can go back and look. Even the cartoons, look at the Proud Family. Even the Proud Family had blatant colorism in the show. Like, look at the history. So when I see this documentary that is supposed to talk about black love, and I'm seeing that every wife, every one of the women are light skin, it's confusing to me and my homegirls. Like, what's, like, what's going on? Like, can y'all not give us something new? And I'm, I'm wondering... When they did the casting and folks were casted to be in this, like, did they not notice, like, hey, like, girl, this ain't diverse. Like, who are the people picking? And are we picking the folks based off of desirability? Because light skin plays a, a role in how what, what we see is desirable. What we see, it, and that, that probably was the thing. Like, this couple looks good. Or it can also be, from research we've seen, that a lot of the, the folks who are married and been in relationships for a long time are in relationships with light-skinned women. We know that light-skinned women are, are more likely to get married compared to their dark-skinned uh, count, like their dark-skinned um, dark-skinned women. So, like we 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 know that to be true. So that can be one of the things. 
Um, and I just, to be honest, I'm just not even interested in this document. I think y'all just need to scrap it at this point, but I know y'all not because y'all want to put it out. And it's supposed to be coming out um, September the 4th, I think. Um, and this is their fifth season. And in the response to this conversation, um, they responded and said that they've had other dark skin folks on the show before. <laughs> Which is true, they've had some other dark skin folks, but they're naming Viola Davis as one of the dark skin folks on there. So what about the ordinary, like, black love folks, like the folks that we don't know about? Like, so it has to be Viola Davis because she's the criminal of criminal when it comes to acting and all this stuff that, you know, oh, well, it seems like that y'all didn't even put Viola Davis in there because she's dark skin. Y'all put her in there because of her visibility. That's what it is. Uh, and the, the moment you can pinpoint and say, hey, girl, you know, this is, that's not good enough. That's not, and that's poor, that's poor judgment. Y'all should have just realized that, hey girl, this does not look good. This is not something that we want to portray. So let's let's go back to the lab and figure this out. Let's, let's get this together. But y'all are not interested in that. And that is harmful. That is harmful for us as a community to tell y'all, hey girl, every wife on this, on, on this, in this trailer was, was dark skinned. So that's harmful for y'all to see that everybody's saying, Hey, every woman that was in this trailer was of lighter skin or light skin. Um, and we're expressing this to you all. Y'all getting dragged for it. And then y'all response is, you know, hey, girl, we didn't mean to. Do. No, fix it. Fix it. You can't be out here selling us black love and telling us about black love and all this. And then this is your version. What do y'all think this does to other people who watch this? What do y'all, how do y'all think that makes dark skinned women feel? Like what, what do y'all, what, what is the purpose of y'all putting out something that is being perceived in a different type of way? And y'all saying that it's not supposed to be like that, but then you don't want to fix it. Is it for the people or is it for the profits? Because that's what it's giving to me. Because if you are doing black love and you want folks to feel empowered, you want folks to see themselves on TV and all of these things, then I'm telling you, hey, I don't see myself. I'm seeing a pattern of nothing but light-skinned women. You need to fix it. And then your response is, well, girl, that's not it. That, that means that you are not care you don't care about how people feel about it. You just want to put it out and make your money. That's why I can't trust y'all. Y'all are not genuine. And even that's even talk about this quote unquote black love because you had one um couple who talked about the harm in this quote unquote black love. You had this couple that this man was cheating on his wife, the mistress held him at gunpoint. All this trauma stuff happened and she saw this and experienced all of these things and she's still with him. So it's just like, I'm gonna hold it down. That's not black love, that is pain, child. And you need to let it go. I don't know why whenever women explain or express their um, relationship or why they, you know, what the love is, they always share the pain that they've been through through the relationship. And it's almost as if women are supposed, to, it is, that women are supposed to go through this to show that they held their man down or this is, this, is, this is how I prove my loyalty and my love to this person. And that is dangerous. It is dangerous and harmful. And I'm just tired of seeing that version of love because that's not love. That's not love at all. You should be sharing experiences and things that made you feel good around this person, not this pain. And this has been going on for a long time, like way before. Think about so many women who were in relationships. Think about our grandmamas, our great grandmamas, and great grandparents and stuff who were in relationships. And the grand daddy had kids all over the city, had kids here and there. And uh, what's name was the father? And that wasn't like think about think about that. Like think about that. I know even from from looking at my family's history that that has happened. Uh, so like women have. Just sat there and just like and taking it because they didn't have no choice because it's just like they couldn't get jobs they didn't have access access to resources and all these things. Um, it's disgusting, uh, and I, I just what is black love? Like I, I feel like even me seeing this documentary, I'm questioning what is black love because not even just the colorism. And the pain that, that one of the couples, ex, ex, one of the women in the, in the relationships experienced, but also this cis hetero centered black love where you only have one lesbian couple. 
like one in the trailer and I don't want to hear what well, we'll get back to you that's the same stuff that Billy Porter told these trans actresses last year they'll get to you wait how often have we wait you get to it like this quote-unquote progress like give it some time no ma'am fix it you recognize that there's an issue fix it get it together that's no it, it's, it's not making any sense to me that you sitting here looking at the trailer and every one of the women are like it. I thought it was a joke. Like, I'm watching it. I'm really like, no, nah, this can't be real. And it was very much so real. Like, every one of them were light skinned. To the point that somebody actually put a paper bag on top of the uh, the men and just put it next to the women. Like, colorism is so real. Anti blackness is so real. Like, all of these things are hurting us and we have got to let it go. We have got to unpack. We have got to figure out, you know, we got to challenge ourselves like, hey, sis, you know, what is this? And I just, I'm just so disappointed, but not surprised that own for even just going like, I, just, I, I don't trust own to tell me what black love is. I know that they don't care. They care about uh, getting their pockets filled, putting out some country that folks don't like, and it just has no value. It has nothing in there other than just representation because we, we love that. It makes us feel so empowered. But who is being represented? The, the same folks being represented? Like, what, what is that? What is that? Like, it should have been all types of couples. There should have been queer couples there, not just one lesbian couple in a trailer. And I don't care about it being a trailer. We haven't seen it yet. Give it time. It should have been inclusive from the beginning. Period. There's no way you can tell me that two minutes of six couples, of all, all these couples, all of them light-skinned, and, and that's not an issue. Like, no, ma'am. I don't care if it's going to be a whole plethora of dark-skinned women in this thing. The trailer was enough for me to not be interested in. So y'all need to fix it. Um, but like I said, I, I don't trust these 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 companies and these or like these folks to, like own and I don't trust them because any like there could not be no black folks working behind the scenes of this. And if there are some black folks who who did all this and saw that mess and didn't, all y'all need to be fired. Any black person who saw that and, and didn't see an issue, all y'all need to be fired. I don't trust your eye. Your eye ain't good enough. You're the only black person in the room for a reason. To keep upholding white supremacy. And you need to be gone. That's what you need to be. You need to be gone. Because there's no way. There's no way you could be working on this, editing this, and not seeing, like, hey, girl, this ain't it. This ain't it. But, you know, we, we enjoy, like, shitting on dark-skinned women. If, if anybody needs to be represented. It needs to be dark skin women. Period. When we think about how many how, how many times we've seen black dark skin women been been crapped on all on social media, made fun of, jokes, and all of these things, and, and it's like a, a a growing up thing. Like we just some of us seem to think that oh, it's just you know they grew out of it. Like it's something you had to grow out of. Like y'all owe it to them to do better. And this this whole project needs to be gone. Like I'm just not even interested in it. So. Girl, that's my thoughts on it. Tell me if you've seen it. You've seen the trailer. If you had, you haven't, check it out. It's on kingareese.com, a blog about it. Also, tell me when you be watching it, how you felt about it watching it. Did you catch it immediately? Or did you be like, oh, I ain't seen it until later on? Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.